where I am right now. I'm actually in the Marim district and I'm going along with the Marim route travel. We're going to travel around on the Marim route to see what variety of things that we can do here. There are so many activities that you can do here, trust me, and you can have so much fun. Are you ready? Let's go! Marium Route, which has the length of 35 kilometers, is always mentioned by both Thai and foreign tourists and regarded as another route of tourism hub in Chiang Mai. Because the distance is less than 20 kilometers from the downtown, you will find an array of tourist destinations waiting for you to bring back memories. a better view, better scenery, and more water to play around in the water as well. Mesa Waterfall is one of the beautiful waterfalls in Chiang Mai. The surrounding landscape consists of large trees and refreshingly cool streams, resulting in temperate weather conditions all year round. The Mesa Waterfall is divided into 10 levels of falls. Each level is about 100 to 150 meters wide, which amounts to about 1,500 meters. Visitors are allowed to hike up to all levels, but the most beautiful ones are 5th, 7th. They are able to get in the water here to experience a fresh soak, but they need to be rather careful. Our next interesting destination would probably satisfy elephant lovers. Here is an elephant nursery, which is part of Mesa Elephant Camp. Many people probably get used to the pictures of activities that tourists have joined with elephants, such as scenic elephant rides, elephant training, elephant bathing, or even their painting abilities. Due to the decreased number of elephants, Mesa Elephant Camp decided to establish this nursery where baby elephants live with their mothers during childhood in the utmost care of Mathers. And right now as you can see, we're in the place surrounded by elephants and you can play with them they're gonna have a show for drawing pictures we can write on them or we can take a shower with them it's really amazing so i think i should give them some food i think he's starving okay 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 you're hungry huh are you hungry female this is female The 
average gestation period of elephants is approximately 18 to 22 months. They normally give birth to one calf at a time. When pregnant for more than 10 months, Mesa elephant will be put on work suspension and separated from other elephants. They will live here so that elephant mothers can rest and get sufficient nutrients under close supervision of mothers and veterinary physicians. Baby elephants will stay with their mothers at this nursery until they turn 2 years old. After that, they will be trained to learn different kinds of skills from the experience methods so that they prepare themselves to become the next good performers. Along the Marim route, there is not only the largest animal like elephant, but is also keeping an eye on tiny animals like these insects and butterflies. And right now we're standing at Siam Insect Museum. That means they collect all parts of uh, a lot of interesting insects here together in this museum. And also this project is under the Discovery Museum Knowledge Model Project. So you can see that there are a lot of things that you can learn related to the insects and so on. So let's have a look. Established in 2006, Siam Insect Zoo serves as a learning museum and the farm where various types of insects are raised. Due to the body of knowledge here, the museum was chosen in 2011 as a Discovery Museum Knowledge Model project by National Discovery Museum Institute. So this is also the part of museum that they're giving information, details about them and staff animal, like staff insect, like this. There are a variety of colors of butterfly, and they staff it here for us to see. Like this, for example, nice color. The first section of the Discovery Museum Zone features many examples of Thai and foreign insects which have been collected from around the world for over 40 years. The purpose of exhibition here is to transfer entomological knowledge to support education and research and to share entomological information in Thailand to become more widespread. The museum here offers not only insects taxidermy in the exhibition room, but also a live insect breeding zone. It is a farm where different species of insects are raised so that everyone can close the experience and learn about the life of the tiny insects. Right now I'm standing at the butterfly section. As you can see here, it's actually butterfly inside, but the baby one. You see the eggs there? They're inside. They're not actually a real butterfly yet, but coming in the future. So we're gonna see step by step how they grow. Butterfly egg takes an average of about 3 to 5 days to hatch. After that, it starts to eat leaves and shed its skin 4 to 5 times. During this larval phase, it takes about 15 days. When the larva is completely mature, it becomes a pupa. Each type of larvae has different life stages to become a pupa. 
On average, it takes around 7 to 10 days to become beautiful butterflies. Butterfly garden! Inside the Siam Insect Zoo, there is also a 500 square meter garden with an indoor simulation of the same natural environment. It was designed to be suitable for the living of butterflies and we can also admire the beauty of different species of the butterflies closely. Not only are various insects of Thailand exhibited, but the zoo here also features a collection of insects from abroad. Some of them are too large to believe that they really are, while others have natural colors built to provide the butterflies with camouflage to hide from threatening predators. It is so amazing. For the next exhibition zone, we need to use a flashlight to get a better look at them. They are the insects that many people are frightened. And these are the spider section and they are really scary one and poisonous. This one is really aggressive if you go near it. So try not to touch it or go near it. There are only some spiders that are friendly, but not this one. It is a well-known fact that the venom of some spider species can kill a human. But for this spider species, they have very weak venom. That is why we can use bare hands to touch them. But it is not always because their hairs can somehow make people who are allergic to the venom feel itchy as well. Right now, we're staying at this orchid farm, which is one of the biggest orchid farm in Merim area in Chiang Mai. This one actually called Sainam Pung Orchid Farm, that you can see all the orchids that they use from the hybrid version. They mix it together to bring from the natural orchid and mix it to make it hybrid, to make it more colorful or a different breed or bigger and more patterns and color. So we're gonna have a look. Sainampung Orchid, which is one of the biggest orchid farms in Chiang Mai, offers both native and scarce species of orchids. Their beautiful blossoms attract people to come and visit throughout the year, and today we will know about the construction background from the owner. Uh, from the background of this place, uh, after my grandfather retired from his, uh, his uh, government work, he bought this land and then he set up into the like uh, his uh, retirement place, and then he get a train at the Chiang Mai University for the short course in a, in a course about uh, how to take care of the orchid, how to do the uh, the lab work, mm -hmm. to do the breeding and to the hybrid, and then that's the starting point that he made to do his work. It's like a scientific, like a maybe uh, in my opinion may, maybe more than fifty percent, and then the, the another to complete the one hundred percent is like your imagination. Yeah, like you take this uh, the characteristic of this one, this color, the shape, and the uh, good thing from the another one, and mix together, and hopefully hope to get the work that is uh, come with that you think before. Normally, how many percent are you successful with all this breeding? Oh, or you have to keep on trying yeah. out and yeah, keep on trying, like I try try out and earlier. Uh, let's say from my 
as I know from my grandpa work for for the let's say 30 years, uh, his success work maybe four or five species that that breed completely. And right now, we found another interesting orchid. This one is Eung Mon Kai. It's actually our Thai orchid that they actually developed. Grandma, uh, grandpa of this area, this farm, he actually developed it to make it last longer. Normally, it's come only once a year, but now it's come throughout all the years. Like in one year, they come out really often. Like this one is fruity beautiful color. You can see the details. It's different from normal orchid. And they are actually the real authentic Thai orchid. You can see the difference from these orchid through the the body part of their leaves here. This one is like angle, not really rounded. There are also some that are rounded. That's why it's also special here and really unique. Amazing. Now we're going to talk about the king of orchid in Thailand. This one is really well known, the Wanda hybrid, but we're going to see the origin, where it actually originally came from. It actually came from Pha Mui. This one originally came from Chiang Mai, northern part of Chiang Mai in Samung area, near my house now. And also this one, also it's the Pha Mui, but different color you can see. The purple color, but the lightning purple color, which is really, really beautiful. But this one is natural. But then human actually hybrid it and like make a mutation. We create this one here to be a bigger size, as you can see, and a more pattern inside, a bigger one, more color into it. So this one we can actually export and sent to another countries as well, which is a really good way to, you know, increase our fame in this area of orchid. That's why it's the king of orchid in China. This is actually also the Wanda hybrid, which is different color. We just saw the purple one, but this one here is the yellow one. Also beautiful and a bigger size. We can also sell it in other countries. Beautiful. adorable oh my god they said here nice smell orchid les ojidés peuvent me that means it's going to smell wow wow they have a smell this is the first time i see orchid with the smell normally you know there's just no smell at all but this one they also said it's able to extract perfume that means you can bring this to make uh, ingredients of perfume as well Smells good. And this one here is Ascosenda Hybrid. It's another type, but nearly the same. The differences are that you can see it's smaller than the Wanda Hybrid, but it's more of them. You see, there are like a huge pack of them here. And the color is also really nice. And this one, I'm going to show you the crossbreed that they actually use the different breed of orchid and mix together to become this one, Nam Phung Thao, or in, in Thai, Nam Phung Thao in English means the white honey. Cute name, isn't it? So it's actually come from this, um, what is it called? This Pha Mui. 
Puyuk or the Alba one, the white one that we showed before. And then we mix with the Khao Ge, another breed that mix together to become this white and pure color, but smaller size and more of the orchid in the group together, like this. And now we're still at the same place, but we're coming to the souvenir section. This one, the more amazingly is, this one is not a fake one. This is the real orchid, but maybe they paint it more and they put the resin to make it stay like this forever. You can see, really beautiful. So gorgeous. And some are in the originally original color, but this one I think maybe painted. Oh, this one is natural one. This color right away, they just put raisin on. This one is necklace. They have also the earrings. And this one is the real rose. And they make it as a ring. Wow, like here, let me try it out. Nice. Another activity that you can do here if you come to Chiang Mai, the adventurous one, I'm super excited, is this place, Bong Yang Jungle Coaster and Zip Line. We're going to go to the Jungle Coaster, it's like sitting along and see the atmosphere, like a roller coaster, small one. And the Zip Line is like a bringing yourself into the jungle and flying like that, but that maybe we're going to have a picture for you to see how it works. Okay, are you ready for the jungle coaster? It's kind of like a roller coaster here and we have this coin to get in. Let's go. Ready? So cute now. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Let's go and have a look here. And as you can see today, we have so many activities and when there is one or a variety of tourism attraction that they have, we have many styles in Chiang Mai that you can do. So don't forget to drop by to Chiang Mai and you can have a one day trip all together with so many activities in one day and you can go back into the Chiang Mai city and rest over there. So that's why don't forget to drop by, but this time is running out with me, Mun Kian Hager, Thailand at last, has to say goodbye for today. Sawadee Chao! 